What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Artie, executive director of Film and Art. Today, we're taking a look at Cedric Van Pran, interior offensive lineman from the University of Georgia. I kind of forgotten about interior offensive linemen in this class behind guys like Jackson Power Johnson, Zach Frazier, um, other guys like Graham Barton come to mind as well. Cedric and Pran definitely holds his own as far as, you know, evaluations go. And this scouting department, um, just quickly reading off a scouting report, uh, mature player, four years of solid taping experience. Um, I stand again to the second level, to second, second level, uh, phenomenal reach, flow blocker. Uh, weaknesses, base can improve, and, you know, also likes power against bigger one text that shows up in this tape. We'll go over that when we get there. But as you guys are seeing, Southern Van Pran at the point of attack, he's very aggressive. You know, as an offensive lineman, you look for, you know, you, the line, offensive lineman, to be the aggressor. You know, when it comes to blocking these defenders ready to, you know, blow up your running back or put your quarterback on his behind. So love how aggressive uh Cedric Van Pran is. You see a good uh example here of you know that reach block, you know that second level, being able to turn that defender and just flat out, you know, just pancaking them. You know, that's the when you're an offensive lineman, the the pancake block, you know, putting someone on their butt, that is like juking someone and then running for an eighty or a touchdown. Like that's that's just about how, you know, cool it is. Getting into some of the agility here. Um I mean, just get tossed out the club, my boy. Like this is this is, you know, he's the pull guy and immediately after snap he comes downhill looking to cause pain and he does that. He blocks two people. <laughs> um so Really like Cedric Van Pran in space. Again, um, as far as, you know, the interior linemen go in this class, he does have his deficiencies compared to those, you know, people. But at the same time, um, not a bad player at all. Got a third round grade on him. So it's not like, you know, he's a guy who you, you know, you can't, take and honestly potentially start next year for him it's just that you know he's not perfect and he will have you know his deficiencies from time to time like maintaining blocks um good example here you know the, line, the linebackers easily able to shed him get inside on the back same thing here with the defensive lineman being able to shed that block there and you know just Continued the upfield pursuit. Just got beat too quick inside there. You would like to see, you know, better, better, um, better technique in that scenario. Let's get into some pass pro because pass pro is such a, you know, vital, vital part of the game of football now. And pass pro, he's steady, you know, when his base is together. You know, his base is, is very, very inconsistent. Um, at times, you know, he allows a lot of push because he doesn't have that power. I think that's what separates him from a, no pun intended, Jackson Powers Johnson or Zach Frazier. Those guys are really powerful and have a good anchor. You know, Cedric Van Pran is definitely more finesse, more athletic, more agile, which is nothing wrong with, like, you get it how you live. But at the same time, you know, the the power element is definitely something that NFL teams should keep in mind when um when uh, they draft him. Here's a look at Cedric Van Pran's scouting report. You guys can read it at your own leisure. You've already read the notes on that. And then 
here is a look at Celtic Fan Brand's team fits. If you like the video, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Have a blessed day.